Hey everyone, what is going on? It is Brad Fusion here, and welcome back to more Eternal Darkness Survival. Where in today's episode, I am going to be finding the last asteroid, and I may have actually found it. Uh, since I stopped recording, I was actually looking around the world, and I didn't really investigate too much as my power supply unit was being a little bit funky, and I had to close down the game. But upon loading the save, I do believe I've actually spotted something right in front of me where I left off. If you look up towards, where's my cursor right now? It's right about here. You notice the stars go away. I I don't think that is one of the smaller asteroids because they're all around here. But I will have to go check it out. It might not. It probably is a smaller one. But anyways, moving on from that, I do want to say a few things before getting to today's episode. One, my apologies for the lack of content lately. My power supply unit, as I just mentioned, has been a little bit finicky lately. However, it was replaced earlier today. The fan inside of the system was uh, emitting a really loud, constant ticky sound for the past few days, and it was driving me insane, and I didn't really want to record any videos, as that would affect my audio quality, and therefore degrade my video's quality in general. So, without the worrying of, like, like uh, I, basically, I didn't want to upload shitty content. <laughs> that, that's, that's essentially, basically, what I'm saying. The ticking was annoying me. And I didn't want to record any videos with it because that would just make my videos uh, feel like shit. Because I, I like my audio qualities to be... Uh, at least I want my audio quality to be something of a decent level anyways. Uh, but mov moving on from that, I do have a, another keyboard actually. I decided to go out and buy a keyboard as my passable unit was being fixed. Uh, so any feedback on the sounds from the keyboard, if you guys do hear any sounds, please let me know in the comment section down below. For anyone wondering what the keyboard it is, it is a Logitech MK710. I'm not normally one for wireless keyboards, but this keyboard feels so soft and the keys are so quiet. At least they are to me, and they just feel so smooth to press. It's, it's a lovely feeling keyboard. And for me, I, 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 it might take me a little while to get used to it. My previous keyboard was a Razer Deathstalker which was a little bit loud in comparison, actually it was a lot louder compared to this anyways. Uh, so this keyboard to me is just like a joy on my fingers and I would recommend it despite it being wireless. I am still using my original mouse which is, what is that actually, it's a Logic A G700. Probably my favourite mouse of all time right now. It's simple to use, not too many weird buttons but again it is functional anyways. Moving on to today's video, my apologies for taking my time, so let me have a look at where that was again because I don't want to lose that. Oh, did I just lose it? No, it's up there. It's right up there, I think. Is, is that what I'm looking at? Yes, I think that is. I think that is the one. But again, it, it, it looks like it might be a smaller one because of the rate it's moving at, since I'm looking at it from this distance. But again, if we shine our lasers out to it... Is that, is that the one? Is that it? I don't feel I'm staying... I don't, think, I don't feel my lasers are on it right now. Oh, it's it's so confusing looking in the dark to find something. No, it's it's right there. It does feel like it's a fair bit away though, doesn't it? So I know exactly where I'm looking. I don't think my ship is looking at it at all. No, my ship is nowhere near looking at it. Uh, ship, I need you to angle upwards. Uh, very, very high upwards. Ah, there you are. Oh, it does feel like it's distant because that laser doesn't feel like it's lining up right. At least, sorry, like the dots seem really close together, so maybe it is far away. Did we just find the final asteroid? I hope we did, and if we did, I do have a specific name that I want to call this thing, and that is Ultima. Uh, don't know why Ultima comes to mind, I think someone mentioned that in the comments down below, and... Oh, hang on, we are catching up to it, so it might actually be a small one. Maybe? I can't really tell. It's filling up my screen, which means we are... We should be close to it. Uh, no, it's... Is that a large one? It is a large one. I believe we have just found the final asteroid of the system. Welcome to Asteroid Ultima. Now, someone did mention also that I've named asteroids wrong. I don't know what caused me to spell it like that. Normally, I'm quite good with my English, but for whatever reason, I spelled asteroid wrong on both of those beacons. So, my apologies. I'll go around and fix them in a second. But we've just found the final asteroid, Asteroid Ultima. Oh, it is lovely to have found you. It'd be kind of funny and kind of sad if there was actually more asteroids out in the system and I just wasn't aware of them. Because I honestly can't remember how many I added when I created the world. I believe it's four. That right now we've actually settled upon four. Actually, this is one further out than normal. Oh, uh, not really, no, because that's 800. Well, I guess it's slightly a bit further out, but not too much. Uh, for anyone wondering, I will be getting rid of the rail cannons in a second as they're not really needed. They were just there for the sake of being there. Um, but yeah, no. I, I believe there's only four, so I, I'm probably going to give up looking right now. Because I, I don't think I'll be able to, f I don't think I'll find anything else. 
Anyways, uh, let's move on to actually building what we were going to build. Do I have enough resources on me to build said thing? I think we need a motor to build the landing gear. So I will just initially put down the landing gear right now. So let's go to our menu here. New small ship and let's put this down right about here. We don't really need to... Oh, construction component. Of course I had the wrong things on me, didn't I? Uh, so let me access this and let me grab out the construction components that are needed. So we'll grab out that. I think I'm not really going to worry about building the landing gear, as that's not uh, that's not an essential part of this. Uh, so you're down. Now we'll put you down, and then lucky number four, which is the beacon. That oh, hang on. Why are you powered up already? Beacon, you shouldn't be powered. Why are you powered? Oh well. Um, I'm not going to complain. Let me just quickly fill up what I can right now, and then I'll go and grab the rest of the resources out of here. I'll just grab everything, and I'll stick everything back when I can. So, let's go down here. Let's grab everything out of here. I believe that's the only cargo container that actually has anything, so... If this doesn't have enough resources to finish building this, then I am a sore loser. And, okay, that's done. I don't know why the beacon's emitting, you know, stuff, despite not being built, but now it's mine anyway, so... Here we go, let's rename this to... Oh, let's go back here and go Asteroid. Uh, again, I have no idea why I saw the other ones wrong. Ultima. Has anyone actually played... I'm pretty sure there was a really old game called Ultima Online. Because I, I remember playing that. I remember that being a thing. Is it? Was it a thing? Or am I just remembering that wrong? Anyway, let's bring down the broadcast range to about... So we don't really need to be too far, we need to just be, uh, I, I guess 2,000, just see if I'm on the other side of the system and I want to see it there. I can see it there. And also, I just realized something. I never put any uranium inside of that, so why is that powered right now? <laughs> um, what, wait, what power are you using right now? Because there shouldn't be anything inside you. There is nothing inside you. I think the game is broken, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm not powering that with anything. I think I have the uranium on me. I do have the uranium on me, so I'll put it in there just in case, because I don't want to risk losing, um, you know, I, I don't want to risk it turning off suddenly because I didn't pay any attention to it. Uh, so we'll put, in, we'll put in two again, like we normally have. So, oh, well, that's brighter. Okay, so I guess just for whatever reason, it lights up, but it, it doesn't completely turn on. I, I have no idea how that works. Uh, putting the resources back inside the ship now. We'll go around, we'll fly around to the others. We'll go and um, change their names, and then I'll head back home because that's where I want to go right now. I want to go back to my home. Can I not put you back in here? Oh, I'll have to put you in here. Uh, let's just search container to just make it a little bit easier. There we go. Now we can just do it all like this. I'll put you inside here as well. That should be fine. We shouldn't really risk losing anything. Uh, so yeah, let us fly back to Capricorn, I think it's closest, and we'll fly back to... Sorry, Capricorn... Wait, how do I say that again? That's Capricornia. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I got a lot of shit for saying that wrong in the last video, so it's Capricornia. At least, I think it is. So if I'm wrong again, my apologies. I'll go to that one, change the spelling, go to the Primus, change that, and then we'll head back home. And I think that would do it for today's exploration. I Again, I don't know if there is anything else needed to be explored right now. I'll have to maybe check the files. I don't know if you guys will permit me to do that. I do have the SE toolbox. So I, I can at least see how many asteroids there are in the system without actually knowing where they are. So I might do that um, in between this episode and the next one. If you guys can permit me to do that. Because I am genuinely curious as to, um, as to how many there are. If you guys can remember back to the first episode, at least... Well, then again, I can probably look at it myself. I don't know if I showed the steps to making the world, though. I don't think I showed me generating the world, which is a bit of an issue. But uh, if I did show it, then you guys would know how many asteroids there are. Oh, I'll have to go look at that myself, actually. Yeah, so now that we're back here, let's go back and change the spelling. Uh, yeah, please forgive me for spelling that wrong. Um, I don't know what overcome me to spell it like that. Uh, that's asteroid, again. Asteroid and... Asteroid. Uh, eod. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll fly back and we'll change that. So there we go, that's you done. There's only one more, which is Primus, the first asteroid we ever found. Well, I'm, it's not really the first asteroid we ever found, it's, it's more like the second asteroid we found, but the first one we found other than our home base, so to me that's kind of first. 
But uh, anyway, we'll fly over here, we'll go change the name of it, and we'll be good. Though, that does look right to me, I don't know why it does. I, I guess it's just, it's just weird like that. Okay, I don't, I don't want to go too fast, because I, I feel if I go too fast, I'm just going to screw myself over and hit the asteroid when I shouldn't be hitting it at all. Let's spin around here, that way we can go around to the front side. There we are, hello asteroid. Let's slow down, I don't think we need to get too close. Uh, well, close enough anyways. Hello. Long time no see. Actually, it was last episode that I was here. <laughs> oh well. Uh, was it the last episode or was the episode before last that I was here? Maybe in the one before last. Oh well, we're here now. And now we can fix my mistake and we're good. So I'm not too sure what I'll be doing next in the series. Uh, I did that wrong again. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what I'll be doing in this series, honestly. I might be building myself a temporary station type ship. Uh, if you guys watched earlier today's video, at least it should be up before this one is anyway. Uh, I did a video on a starter ship, or a, at least a mobile station that I was working on. Um, I think I might build that in this series. Uh, as to me, I, I kind of really like the ship, so... And why is that beacon green? Beacon 2? What is beacon 2? Hang on, what is Beacon 2? I don't know of any Beacon 2s. That could be curious, I hadn't even noticed that before. How long has it been there? Is that inside my base? Oh god, all the questions are coming to my mind right now. Um, uh, where's my... Landing pad, there we go. <laughs> We're upside down, that's why it was confusing me. But what is Beacon 2? Um... Oh, that's the beacon inside my station that isn't built yet. Right, okay, now it now it comes to my mind. F for whatever reason, that the beacon is now turned on because, well, reasons and bugs. Uh, actually, let me just leave that on for now. You know, I didn't realize it had uh, turned on that beacon. <laughs> uh, maybe we can actually finish that beacon. I, I think I'll do that right now. Let's grab all the resources that appear, but they're not really needed. Um, yeah, all the ones from here. There we go. Okay, cool. Also, for anyone wanting an update on the Eternal Conflict series, I did mention that a maybe a few videos ago, however, I'll mention it again. The person that I'm doing the filming with, their microphone is uh, broken right now. At least the soundboard, sorry, no, not their microphone. Uh, so if you're wondering why they have a lack of videos as well on their channel, that's the reason. It's because they don't have a mic right now. And that kind of sucks for me because I really, really wanted to get some filming done and I really want to make some progress on this thing because to me, in my mind, it's going to go amazingly well and, well, actually, I don't know how you guys will react to it, but in my mind, it would be an amazing series. Um, that's 37 out of 40. Of course we're missing a few. We need uh, 40 radio components as well. We'll get that done right now. We have radio components? Radio? Yes, we have 80. Perfect. Okay, let's put all this back in. We need 40 of you, so we'll grab you over here, at least, can I grab 40 or not grab 40? Also, this is a, god damn it, <laughs> this is a great time for you guys to hear whether or not my keyboard is making any loud sounds by me typing and stuff, then again, the uh, rest of the station is rather loud as well, so, uh, so there we go, 28, we'll grab another, tw well, we actually would need to grab another 12, uh, so let's go down here, we'll grab the 12 out, uh, 12, like so, and then we need three large steel tubes, which I don't think we have any of in inside here, but maybe Kara has some, so let's go down to Kara and pay her a visit right now. I'm sorry I haven't used you lately, Kara, but I might be using you to build myself a ship, because I'm lazy. Uh, <laughs> we'll grab this out of here, and we'll go put that up top. I feel good about doing videos today, I don't know why, I might get my um, 20,000 subscriber video ready. At least one of them anyways. I'll be playing one of my first PC games as a video. I, I don't think you guys would watch that, but if, if you do, that'd be really cool. Um, I, I think I already told you guys what my first ever PC game was, but for anyone who doesn't know, you're more than welcome to try to guess it. So we'll leave this as, um, well, what should we name it? What did we even name our base? We haven't really named our base at all, have we? I don't think we have. I don't think I've ever really named my base. So for now, I'll turn this off. 
Oh, uh, I know some of you guys might not like me for that, but I have turned off. Also, cargo ships are now turned back on again. I left them off in the last episode of the episode before that because it was believed that they were causing errors and I didn't really want errors. I wanted to at least try recording, so I turned them off. But now they're back on again, and that is military mine layer, which I really am not going to be bothered with at all. Uh, so yeah, everything is back to normal right now, actually. I, I kind of like how everything's turned out. I think I might need to do a little bit of mining, as I haven't done mining lately. Let me check how much iron I actually have. Because I don't think I have too much. I have 2.4k in there. Is that all the iron I have? In, in every... Really? I only got 2.4? Wow, I definitely do need to do some mining. Let me turn off the Firefly's lights, actually. My apologies for leaving them on. They do make things a little bit too bright, and I don't really like that, as it completely kills my frame rate. Uh, so let's take Timmy out, actually. Let's take Timmy out to do some mining. Timmy, your light works now, doesn't it? I mean, it should. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Now, uh, let me quickly just turn it on and just have a look. You have two spotlights. Wait. You have two spotlights? Oh, yeah, you have one on the back. I'm an idiot. Yeah, okay, so we'll take Timmy out for a spin. His lights are really bright. I'll have to tweak that in a second. They're way, way too bright. Uh, but yeah, no, I'll go sit down. I'll go take Timmy out to do some mining, and then I think that'll have to do it for today's episode. But again, like I said, I feel good about making videos today. I tried making some last night when my power supply unit was a bit messed up, and oh, it was it stressful. I, I really wanted to get some videos done for you guys, but at the same time, I couldn't really put up the sound as it was just, oh, it was just so, it was driving me insane. So we'll put this back down, radius, oh, 30.1. Okay, we don't need that much of a radius, but I think the intensity is what we can knock down here to being a very, very small, small value. Again, we just need illumination, we don't need too much brightness in that, in that regard. So there we go, I think that should be bright enough to illuminate what we need anyway. Uh, again, I think between this episode and the next episode, I might install a mod that gets sort of the overlay, the camera overlay for the uh, the cameras. Uh, for any of you guys who want that, please let me know in the comments down below, and I guess I'll do like a small voting scenario. And you guys can let me know whether or not you guys would want this turned on, or sorry, left on or removed. So again, let me know in the comments down below, and let us get to some mining. I haven't mined for a very long time, as you guys will, uh, as you guys will quite obviously know. Uh, I've kind of forgotten how Timmy handles. I think Timmy's very, very shaky. He is very, very shaky. Yeah. Okay. No, no biggie. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it as we go. Pretty sure Timmy can handle just going straight down anyways, at least. If I use a reverse camera, it's a little bit easier to see where I'm going, like so. If I kind of control Timmy like so, I can kind of... Oops. Nope. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Again, I haven't mined in a very long time, so I am very, very bad at it right now. Oh, well, we're going in a reasonably straight-ish line. Also, I feel happy today because I watched the latest episode of Legend of Korra, uh, book 4. Is it book 4 or book 5 now? I think it's book 4. Um, the Balance series, anyways, I've been watching, I've been keeping up to date with that. If anyone else has, uh, you guys are awesome as well. Uh, for all of you who don't watch anime, it is a pretty decent show, actually. I mean, c compared to the... Oh, hang on, I've hit Uranium. Ah, not like Uranium ever hurt anyone. Well, actually, it's probably radiated, so it might have hurt someone in some time, whenever. Actually, is uranium radiated? I don't think it would be. But then again, it is stuck inside of a reactor, so maybe at that point it probably is radiated. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm on about anymore. I was talking about Korra, now I'm talking about radiation. Well, then again, she did have radiation. Um, that's spoilers. No, I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, we'll continue digging. How much do we have right now in our inventories? 25 and 19 as a bit in the injector as well. Please tell me they're turned off. I don't think I would have left them on. Yeah, okay, they are turned off. But they're still collecting despite being off. That seems like the game's a little bit funky right now, but they are bug fixing. And I've actually really liked what they've done so far. At least the progress that they've made towards the bug fixing. Like, the lights now are meant to be working perfectly fine. And to be honest, my frame rate doesn't really go as low as what it normally would do with the lights turned on. Uh, so that's genuinely quite surprised me. I don't want to go too far because I'm afraid I'm, I'm going to be leaving the asteroid in a second. So let's fly back up through here now. Uh, let's go deposit what we've gathered so far. And uh, see how much iron that actually gives us. I'm really not too sure the conversion rate between uh, an iron ore to an iron bar. I believe... I uh, No, actually, I, I've never really paid attention to it. I, it's, it's not a one-to-one -one ratio, I know that. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. It's more of like, I think it's like a 1.5 to a 1. So there's uh, maybe like a 50% loss, maybe? Oh, I'm entirely, I'm, I'm not too sure. 
But we're coming out of here quite fine, a little bit of bumps here and there, but nothing Timmy hasn't dealt with before. And now we're free. Why do I see stars out there? I didn't realize my base was that close to seeing stars. Uh um, where's the base? There we are. Hey you Okay, yeah, let's deposit some of the ore now. And uh, we'll be good to go. Let's turn the drills around where we can actually see. Perfect. So right above here, and we'll start turning on the ejectors now. And we'll throw it out ourselves. So on, on, on. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's go check it out ourselves. I don't think we're missing. No, we're not missing. Okay, good. <laughs> I was a little bit afraid of that. Let's go here and let's go deposit it ourselves. I just realized that my lay has been there for a very long time. Uh, let me grab the uranium out of there. And some of. Can I not grab? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. That's why. Uh, let me grab out some of you here. Really can't hold that much myself, but oh well. No biggie. We'll just drop this down right here, like so. Oops, sorry. Like so, there we go. Okay, cool. Now, I'm still getting used to the keyboard. It, it'll take me a little bit of time to get completely used to it. But I, I think I'm... Okay, wrong one. It, it does feel very nice though. Like I said it, uh, before, it's one of the softest keyboards I've ever owned. And that's a weird way of putting it. But by god does it feel nice on your fingers to press the, to press the keys. Uh, I think that we're almost done with depositing everything. Let's just make sure that we're almost done here. I'm pretty sure I can do the last bit itself. Ah, it does take its time though, doesn't it? Uh, we, yeah, we can handle the majority of that by ourselves. Let's grab you out of here like so. There we go, everything's done and we'll just, uh... We should be. Okay, there we go. And Timmy is still depositing ore. Where is he getting the ore from? Or am I just reading that wrong? Oh no, there's some still left in the ejector. That's, that's fine, it's done now. Okay, cool. So we'll turn off the ejectors for now. Turn them off, like so. Awesome, you can stay there, Timmy, for now. Let's see how much ore and resources we now have gathered. So it was about 24 plus 19, so that's... That's, sorry, that's 40... 48? No, 43. Uh, so, yeah, about 43 now converted over to what we should have of iron. Um, so you're still 2.4. We have... Well, I didn't realise there was 3.4 that in there and a little bit left over and all these. I thought I searched iron before but I didn't really get these results. Are you making something or are you... no I have no idea. Uh 17 right now that's kind of cool and there's two whatever in there so fill it up like that. Uh, I think that's it for now actually. It's all going to the one refinery which I kind of hate that it does that but oh well. You'd think it would go to the arc furnace actually wouldn't you? Arc. I don't know why it wouldn't go to the Ark Furnace straight away, but oh well, I'm not really complaining as we didn't really have too much and we weren't really using it straight away so it wasn't really vital or anything. Anyway, I think that will have to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching, we've had a very awesome time. Let me know what you guys think of the questions I've asked so far in today's episode. So what were the questions? Uh, one, would it be okay if I checked SE Toolbox to at least know how many asteroids we have? I believe it is four, but again, I just have that feeling that there might be something else out there. But I, I don't want to cheat, so maybe even... Well, actually, I, I, that's that's why I'm asking whether or not checking at least how many there are would be considered cheating or not. Or whether I, it should just be left up to me exploring and maybe there isn't anything else out there. But we'll just have to find that out in time. Uh, a few other questions. Uh, should I build that ship that I showed in today's uh, Fusion Industries video? It was a small slider ship that I showed in that video, so let me know whether or not I should be building that as well. And I think that does it for today's episode. Also, yeah, sorry, what should I be naming my base? I really haven't given it a name. I do like the theme that we're going with, with the Asteroid Primus, the Capricornia, and the Asteroid Ultima. So maybe something along those lines. Maybe even get, getting rid of, like, the Bacon of Landing. I'll probably just call that, like, Landing Pad, maybe a Landing Strip, or something like that. I, I'm kind of going away from the silly vibe that we previously had. I mean, Timmy's going to be Timmy. You can't rename Timmy. I mean, jeez, you, you guys are idiots. Timmy's Timmy. Jeez. No, I'm, I'm kidding. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.